Okay, this video is going to cover the changes that were recently made to uh, both the chat user interface and the agent interface when handling chats. Um, before I go to the thin agent, just going to quickly review how somebody accesses the live chat feature from the MyFreeTaxes website. So this is MyFreeTaxes.com and all they need to do is click on live chat and it'll open up the chat client in a new window. I'm not going to click on that right now though because I'm going to load um, a different window that's going to get me to the testing chat skill, but it, it'll look identical to this link right here. So this is what the client is going to see when they click on that link on myfreetaxes.com. You can see that the um, interface, the, the client interface has been, uh, the skin has been colored to match the colors of, of the MyFreeTaxes logo, which is down here now. Um, so there are a few automated messages. One is just a greeting, thanking the, the client for contacting us. Um, and then the other, the next two boxes instruct the client to type one or two to indicate whether they are a uh, MyFreeTaxes client or if they're a partner. Um, all this does by them pressing one or two is routes them to the appropriate skill. So if they type one and press enter, they're going to get routed to the national chat skill. And if they press two and then they hit enter, they're going to go into the partner's chat skill. I'm going to actually press nine um, because that's going to get me into the testing skill. And then I'm going to open up my thin agent if I can find it. And show you what that looks like on my end. Um, when the client is waiting for someone to answer their chat, uh, they're going to get some automated message here, messages here, just letting them know that um, everyone is assisting another client at a few minutes into the hold, if they're still in the queue, uh, they'll get an option to um, exit the chat and send an email instead. Uh, but otherwise, they'll just keep cycling through this message sequence where we um, thank them for their patience and tell them that someone will be assisting them shortly. Um, before this chat skill was redesigned, there were um, the demographic questions were presented to the client before they even got to a specialist. So after they indicated that they were a, um, a, a, a MyFreeTaxes client instead of a partner, they would then be asked um, if they'd like to participate in a demographic survey. Um, and they'd have to go through this really long process of um, answering all those questions. How did you hear about us? What's your race, your gender? Uh, it took like three minutes to get through the entire, um, that entire process. And more times than not, um, the client would opt out of answering those questions. So I got rid of them, and we're going to have you answer those questions or present those questions to the to the client after you handle after you answer the chat. Um, so you can see here, I just accepted the chat. Um, for those of you who don't already know, when you accept the chat, your greeting is already um, automatically presented to the client. So as soon as I hit accept, I got this message, thank you for contacting my free taxes helpline. My name is Todd, how may I help you today? That was confusing to a lot of specialists because they didn't know that was happening. So I had that message present on the thin agent as well. It's presented as code and I currently don't know how to remove that code. So just ignore the, the little P's there that just indicates that there's some spacing between each line. But now at least you know that um, <clears throat> when you answer a chat, what you should do is just sit there and wait for the client to type their concern. You don't need to retype your name and greeting because um, that'll be confusing to the client. Um, so 
if this were an actual chat, I as the client would say something like, um, I need help creating my X's account. And then I'm going to see my my question here in the thin agent. Um, uh, the reason the chats on average are longer than phone calls is because there's a lot of typing involved, um, especially when you have to ask make an effort to ask these demographic questions of all first time clients. So another new feature that's been added this year is the indicate tool. And if you look at your thin agent, you'll see this little chat bubble here. Um, and if you hover over it, there's a, a message that reads click once to open the canned responses window. So I'm going to click that open. And I have a new window here called my free taxes chat canned responses. Um, there are instructions right here to click to view the canned responses list. It's just a drop down menu. Um, I only put that messaging there because people might not realize that they're supposed to click in that window to open up the canned responses list. <clears throat> it's a long window, so um, you might have to readjust your this little pop-up window to see the whole thing. Um, these canned responses are organized by the typical flow of a of a chat. Um, so if you go back to my original question, I need help creating my MyFreeTaxes account. Um, and then I go back to my canned responses. The very first category in the list is a willingness to help. So I can choose from any of these. I can certainly look into that for you. I can definitely help you with that. I would be happy to assist you. I'm glad you contacted us. It doesn't matter which one I picked. Um, I created a few just to switch it up for specialists every time they take a chat. Um, and I'm certainly open to adding more based on any suggestions. These just seem like basic, um, normal responses to that type of question. So I'm going to choose the second one. I, def I can definitely help you with that. And then I have to click this send a chat button. It's important to know that this button has to be clicked because you don't want to click this button without having selected the correct response because if you if I if I chose let's say I chose uh, are you still there and then click send a chat it's going to populate in the the client's chat box and, and the client's going to have no idea what I'm talking about so you want to be very careful with how you select your can responses on the plus side it's not going to enter your response unless you actually click that send button Um, so I've already entered a canned response. If I wanted to add two consecutive canned responses, I just have to click that indicate tool one more time and then click again in this little box here. So going back to the original question or statement, I need help creating an account. I'm going to say I can definitely help you with that and then click send the chat. And there it is. And then I, as again, as a, as an, as a specialist or an agent, I just sit there and wait for the client to respond. Um, this actually, this statement could actually go either way. Um, I could probably start typing my next question. Um, you're not going to find all of your answers in this canned responses list, so there will be still some independent typing on your end, but. Um, There are plenty of responses in here to, to get through at least the very first major portion of a chat, that whole uh, data collection process. Um, so I could put, may I have your first name here? And then I'll type that as the client. And right after I want the first name, I should go get the zip code. Um, I could have selected this can response, may I have your first name and five-digit five digit zip code, uh, but since I already asked for the first name, or maybe the person already would have provided it to me, 
I'm going to select this next. And as this is all going on, I'm trying to fill out my intake form. So if I typed in 44113, um, this would be a, probably the first time that I would uh, have to type something independently of the CAN responses list. So just to confirm, I would say, <clears throat> now if you notice down here, I'm on Google Chrome right now. I don't know what everybody's individual in-agent um, appearance is when, when they're handling a chat, but when I'm on Chrome and I'm handling chats, my response window is really cut off. I mean, there's only like two lines available here. Uh, if I want to get around that, I just click this little box right here. So I have a full um, workspace to type long responses. The only remaining issue is that the send box is a little cut off. Um, at this point, just looking at this, I, I would probably, if I were to, to log in again and handle chats, I would probably select Internet Explorer over Google Chrome. But this is still workable. So I've collected the first name and zip code. I'm going to go in my can responses and see if there's anything else I can use up here. Um, I could go straight to the demographic survey. Or I could go into helping the person. Um, it's really up to you and it's it's up to the type of questions that the, the client is asking. Um, but just remember that for every uh, first, actually I made a mistake. What I should have done before I got the, the, or after I got the name and zip code is determine whether this person is actually a um, My Free Taxes client. So if the question was I need help creating an account, um, I guess it can still be, well, they said my free taxes account, so I could probably just go straight to the, um, is this your first time contacting us? And then I can go to the demographics. Uh, demographics are all currently grouped as one section. So if you look at all these questions, they follow the order of the middle column of the intake form. After that, um, the remainder of these can response categories are um, kind of fillers that you would use throughout the course of a contact. So an empathy statement um, you'd probably only use if somebody is expressing frustration with completing their tax return uh, or they just gave you some other kind of bad news about their situation. Um, the time filler section is to keep the, the chat flowing on your end. So if you're still researching information uh, or you need a little bit more time before you answer the, the client's question, you can use one of these. <clears throat> I apologize for the delay. Just a moment while I look into that for you. Um, client check-in is the opposite. So if, if a minute or so has gone by and you haven't heard anything from the client, you would want to select one of those responses right there. Um, and then wrap-up closing is uh, how you would want to end the chat. This obviously doesn't include um, all of the most popular responses that you might find yourself using over and over again when handling chats. Uh, the good news is I can create additional indicate tools here. 
So I'm hoping in the near future we'll have one maybe for VITA um, callers or VITA clients, key codes, um, <clears throat> federal returns, state returns. I'm sure we could definitely use one for New York or California state returns. Um, but for now, <clears throat> this can uh, replace that automated um, demographics collection that we used last year and that has been so confusing to specialists who are trying to capture that information and uh, log it in VisionLink. If you have any suggestions on additional canned responses that can go into this section for the demographics and common responses, uh, just email them to your supervisor and uh, they'll forward them to uh, either Wanda or myself.